We have so much cool tech to unbox today and loads of giveaway prizes. So stay tuned, let's get into it. A big thanks to Vulture for sponsoring this video. Vulture offers high performance cloud compute bare metal, storage, and managed Kubernetes. They offer 12 pre-selected operating systems, including Windows, as well as the ability to bring your own ISO. Their advanced networking features are built to support even the most advanced deployments. This is thanks to features like VPC peering and Direct Connect instances, starting as low as $2.50 per month. Their marketplace offers one-click installation with more than 50 applications and operating systems, including Instant Minecraft and other other game servers, VPN platforms, and content management systems. Vulture are offering an exclusive 30-day $150 coupon code. Use code 150 offer 30 by using the link down below. As a bonus for everyone, they just launched their new optimized plans. They feature general, CPU, memory, and storage instances using the latest AMD Epic chips. Learn more at the link below. So I'll start off with the smaller packages first. I have no idea what company this is from, but they've certainly taped it up pretty well. I've had to go through every single box and try and color in uh, our shipping details. And while doing that, we actually had one of the globes blow in the light behind us. So this, Oh, this is my charging uh, dock that I got because we're in the new studio now. So I wanted to have one of them handy for charging things like the, the phone or some camera batteries and things like that. The USB-C cable. Oh, we won't be using this. I think this is for Apple. So we'll be using USB-C. Pretty cool. Let's find out a little bit about it. Now this is the Ugreen 100 watt Diginess Pro and after speaking with them, I can confirm that they are a US-based company, hence the US-based ports on the device. Now they have also agreed to give three of these away. Now if you'd like to enter, join our Discord, link down below, and keep an eye out on the announcements page where we will announce all of the prize pool. Now the 100 watt Diginess Pro actually has surge protection built in. You have a port up the top and two grounded ports on the back with a max of 1,870. Watts. On the front, there is three USB Type-C plus a USB Type-A, and the USB Type-C can charge up to a max of 100 watts, so that's super fast charging. And that's pretty much why I got it. Pretty unique charger. On to the next box. Ah, oh, yes! They are here! We've been waiting for these for a very long time. These are the Crucial X6 portable SSDs and we really needed a bunch of these for our camera equipment. Not only that, but we have two to add to our giveaway prize pool over on Discord. So you guys know what to do. So when we record, we really need a fast external SSD for our footage to go to. A regular SD card is not fast enough. Now with read and write speeds of 800 megabytes per second and capacities up to four terabytes, this is a perfect SSD for the job. And believe me, we can use up to 500 gigabytes of space in one single recording session. Our footage is 10 bit raw, so. I mean, that explains a lot. It is also very important to me that the SSD is lightweight and it has a tiny profile because our camera rig can only hold so much. So, I mean, look at it, it is tiny. It is also very durable and it can survive drops of up to two meters. The Crucial X6 also comes with a USB Type-C cable and is compatible with Mac, PC, Android, Xbox, PlayStation, and much more. So if you're a gamer and you want to store some games on this, it is the perfect tool for the job. If you're interested in finding out more about Crucial products or promotions, you can visit the link in the video description. They are currently giving away Guild Wars 2 Heroic Edition with eligible purchases and the chance to win some awesome prizes for Australian and New Zealand residents. Well, it looks like I got a bit too keen for this one and I already half opened it forgetting about the unboxing, but looks like we have a big order from Cable Mod. And usually, when I get stuff from Cable Mod, I usually try and, yes, I stock up on white and black cables because I tend to use them a lot. So this is just full of white, and I assume that this is black. Let me just undo that. And there we go. <laughs> 
All right, next box. What do we have inside of this? This one looks like it is a Newegg box. I don't remember ordering anything from uh, Newegg though. Ah, we have some crucial DDR5 RAM. We've actually got two sets here and these will be going into a sleeper build coming up very soon. I'm super excited about this. We haven't done a sleeper build on the channel before and I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it. So we're gonna be doing it. Now we have two kits here. One of them is a 16 gigabyte kit. Oh, hang on, two 16 gigabyte kits. No, we have a 16 gigabyte kit, a 32 gigabyte kit, and a 64 gigabyte kit. So we've got plenty of DDR5 there to work with for the sleeper PC. I cannot wait. Also, if you're not into flashy RAM with RGB and all of these different features and paying a premium for that. Getting some of this will actually help you save a lot of money, but it still performs really well. There's also a lot of overclocking potential with these if you want to give that a go too. On to the next box. So this next package is from a company called TestSmart. And they've boxed this one pretty well as well. There is tape everywhere. It's a box within a box. Not bad, packaging looks nice. Testsmart.com, uh, user manual, dual HDMI, 4K, 60 Hertz, Testsmart, dual monitor, KVM. Ah, I see. What else do we have in here? Uh, this is probably just power and accessories, things like that. Oh, we got some cables, okay. HDMI cables, they look like pretty good quality. Yeah, we've got a few of those in there. And I assume that this is the power adapter. Probably not a Australian plug either. It is an Australian plug. These guys are good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to do a bit of research on this and we'll be right back. Okay, so after a bit of research, this product is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to be using it for our streaming and gaming setup as well. So this is the TestSmart Dual Monitor KVM, meaning it can control two PCs or two monitors. So you can have one keyboard, one mouse, and one set of speakers, for example. You can connect it to here, and you can use the keyboard, mouse, and speakers with both PCs. That'll certainly come in handy if you're a streamer or you have workload on one PC and then you need to use the other to avoid stressing out the CPU or GPU when it's rendering. It also supports up to 4K at 60 Hertz. The IO also has loads of inputs, but they've neatly labeled everything, especially where the keyboard and mouse sits, so you know where to plug things in. Maybe in our next setup video, we'll give this one a try. But guys, if you need two PCs for your workflow, then checking out something like this is certainly worth it, especially when you add up the cost of keyboards, the extra mouse and extra speakers or headset, certainly worth looking into. Anyway guys, if you're interested in learning more, you can visit TestSmart's website using the link in the video description. This package is from our good friends over at Bits Power and TNT think that they have the authority to leave it. This thing's probably worth a couple hundred dollars. No, thank you. Let's get it unboxed. <laughs> what do we have here? Let's go. So I got myself a new, uh, let's just open it up. A little new filling, oh shit, where did that go? It's a filling syringe. We, we got there eventually. Because it's bigger, much bigger, that'll help us to fill the reservoir a lot faster. And we can also control how much liquid we're adding pretty easily. So we'll get some pretty cool water cooling shots with the PCs. We've also got a bunch of fittings. These are flow meters, not really needed for a build. It's more for aesthetics. I don't know what that is. That's a CPU bracket thing, probably for LGA 1700 socket. Then we've got gold fittings. We love the gold fittings from Bits Power. More gold fittings and a bit of bubble wrap. Nothing left. Thank you very much, Bits Power. We're gonna be getting this into a build very soon. I'm super excited for this one. The boxes are slowly getting bigger. I have no idea what this is. It's from a company called Devoom. And on the side it says, Pixo or Pixu 64. I, I don't know how they pronounce that, but uh, let's get this thing unboxed. Let's see what it is. Is this a box within a box? <laughs> 
It is, it's a box within a box, Frisbee. All right, what do we have in here? Spark your life, Davoom. 30 day money back guarantee, 12 month replacement warranty and lifetime support guarantee. Welcome to join Davoom super user program. There you go. I love this. We're gonna put this in a setup for sure. I wonder what we got though. How do I open this thing? There we go, it's a slide. Slides off. No way. Hang on. I don't know if you guys can see that in the corner there, but you can put like a subscribe account or something on it on the wall. This will look sick on the wall behind us, I think. Or in a setup. That'll be awesome. The packaging is good. Uh, what's this? I assume a... Oh, what did I drop? Okay, so it's past the checker. That's good. So they've tested it before sending it. So I think it's a bit of a user manual and a lot of writing, which I really don't want to read. This is the cable, because I assume being some sort of lighting, it needs power. USB to USB-C. I want to unbox this. Let's get it out. So I wonder how this all works. I wonder if it's just one thing or you can connect it to an app and put whatever you want on there. I assume that's what it does. The problem is we have no Wi-Fi in here. How am I meant to show off these products? We've got to get the Wi-Fi up and running. Let's try and power it and see what we can do. Okay, good news. <laughs> Hopefully good news. So this is powered by a USB cable. I have no USB ports available in here because this is our new workshop. I also don't have Wi-Fi available. So my brilliant mind was like, wow, let's use our 100 watt DigiNest Pro that we just did in the video earlier to power this thing. Then I remembered we don't have an Australian plug on this. So I had to go to the shop, bought an Australian adapter, and now we have power. All right. That is plugged in. Is there anything on screen yet? Waiting to configure. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that Wi-Fi up and running. Oh, look at that. Now we do have something. Yo, ah, oh, it's got voice. Yo, 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 yo. G'day guys. Ah, oh, that's cool. What is that? Ah, oh, look, we got it working. There we go. Now, obviously you have a lot more features available when you download the app and you connect it to Wi-Fi. It also has mounting holes on the back so you can connect it to the wall and screw holes on the top and on the bottom so you can mount it to things as well. I personally want to put a subscriber counter on there or something like that. You can also use it as a clock if you wish. So that is completely up to you how you customize it. I ended up taking the Pixu 64 into our house to give the app a try. In the channel section, I did end up finding the subscriber counter I was after. There are even financial displays such as the price of Bitcoin or the stock market. If you have a favorite game, you can display things like the amount of kills or wins. By tapping the little box icon, we can search for various galleries by topics. A little avocado toast for the millennials, or we can search our favorite topics browse through the available options and display it on our screen. There is even a DIY section for anyone feeling creative and you can even upload your own photos. And guys, Michael has also organized one for giveaway. So if you guys wanna enter, you know what to do. Visit the Discord, check out the announcements section. We'll update you shortly. And if you wanna learn more about this product, I'll leave a link in the video description. Go and check out some of the amazing stuff you can actually do with this. It's all on their website and you can see what type of artwork you can put on this. So these next boxes are a little bit of a treat, I guess, for myself. I went out and uh, got some pairs of shoes, and these are from a company called Vessi. And the really cool thing about these shoes is that you can wear them in the water as well and not damage them. So they're pretty much weatherproof in a way. Uh, these ones are more the active shoes that I wanted to wear. I decided to get black because I, you know, I decided if I'm going to be active, they're probably getting dirty, especially if we're going to be walking through water and lakes and things like that. But they should clean up nice and easy as well. And they feel nice. They've got like padding on the inside as well. So I thought, why not? Let's go with them. The next pair of shoes, we get them unboxed. So this pair is more a casual 
pair that I'll probably just be wearing every day around. These are also weatherproof. They've got nice padding on the inside as well, so I thought they would be good for all day use. But same sort of uh, material as the black ones as well. So yeah, I thought these were really nice for just walking around in. And I'll also have one more pair on the way. That'll be a white pair, which I'd probably use for going out with because obviously white can get dirty pretty easy. Anyway, I know it's not PC parts, but it is an unboxing video, so we just unboxed everything. If you want to learn more about these, I'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out for yourself. They do have a wide range for ladies and men. I have no idea where this is from. Looks like it's from a Chinese company or from overseas in China or Taiwan. Let's get this unboxed. Yes. Awesome. So we have the Z690 Phantom Gaming ITX motherboard from ASRock. This is going in a dual system build with an ATX motherboard and the ITX. So I assume that one of the boxes over there is also another motherboard from ASRock. Let's go ahead and quickly show you guys what this looks like. By the way, this system is also gonna have a water-cooled power supply. All right, next parcel. This one also packaged very well. Let's see what's inside. All right, what do we have in here? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> you guys are not. Okay, let's forget this package. That is still under NDA. <laughs> Sorry guys, you can't see that one. Now we have a box from M-Wave. I have not ordered anything from M-Wave, so I'm actually interested to see what this is. All right. Hey, look at this. We have a CPU, 12th Gen i9. I actually didn't order this. I believe this was sent by, could have been Asus or Aorus, one of them. What is it? The, is this the 900, 12900K? Excellent. So this will be actually going in the Asus build coming up shortly. And we're going to be opening some really cool parts very soon. So you guys, Stick around and you'll see some awesome parts coming up in the build. Another box from Thermaltake. Here we go. If this is what it is, I'm super excited about this and I think it is about time that Thermaltake made this. I think it's gonna be a bunch of stuff. It's not what I was expecting. We have a bunch of liquid. Oh, stocking up on liquids. So we have the P1000, which is their cloud white. And then we've also got T1000, which is their clear liquid. So we're just stocking up a bit on that. Four bottles of each. We'll go ahead and put them on the shelves. Okay. Yes, here we go. We're starting to get into some of the hardware. So we have an Asus ROG Strix B550 gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. This is actually going into a streamer's build, I believe, coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for it. Let's give you guys a bit of a look. There we go, look at that. This next box also looks to be from Asus. This is getting real exciting. We're getting into the real good stuff. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Check this out, an RTX 3090 for a themed build with Asus. This is what I'm talking about. This is exciting stuff. Guys, this build will be coming up very soon, so keep an eye out, and if you're attending PAX Australia, you will also see this build on the Asus booth. Looks like we have a third box from Asus. Ah, here we go. So this is the Z690 Hero. Let's check it out. Oh, that looks awesome. Purple and green. It just goes so well together. Check this out, guys. Sixty nine hundred XT. Why do we have a sixty nine hundred XT? I actually don't know what build this one is for. We have a liquid cooled sixty nine hundred XT from ASUS. I'm going to have to contact them because I have no idea what this one is for. But it looks sick. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something 
pretty special with it. I don't remember organizing a build with them for a 6900 XT. So I'll have to contact them and we'll see what it's for. And I'm sure there'll be a build coming up very shortly with it. Yet another box from Thermal Take. Let's hope that it's not a bunch of power supplies like the last unboxing video. I remember we received so many from them, so we put a few up for giveaway. Okay, there's a bunch of random stuff in here. Let's take a look what we have. So we've got some white Pacific fittings from Thermaltake. We'll just chuck all of these over here for now. PCIe cables, 4.0. We've also got some RAM. That'll come in very handy. Oh yes, this is the Pacific W9 CPU block. Thermaltake have made such a clean water block. In fact, I want to, where's my, there they are. I want to show you guys what it looks like. So let's get it unboxed. There we go. So they now have a cleaner water block, which I'm really a fan of. We've also got some more C-Pro fittings. Oh, this is the ore nickel block that I was telling you about. This one is the W8. So that's their all nickel design. And it's actually got a bit of weight to it as well. Looks really good. So we'll be putting that in a build very soon. I can see it's already got a lot of dust on there. So we'll have to keep the fingerprints off of it. And that is pretty much it in this box. The boxes are getting a lot bigger now. Oh yes, here we go. So this is the second motherboard as a part of that dual system. This is the second ASRock motherboard. Can we open this and give you guys a peek? It's a good looking motherboard. Can't wait to put this into a system. It's coming up very soon, guys, very soon. No idea what company this is from, but it's a TP-Link box and it's got TP-Link tape. I just don't remember getting anything from them or ordering anything I should say. Ah, I see, okay. So we will be doing a build pretty soon with Antec. I don't know why they've got TP-Link tape, but that's what they have. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of fans, some cables, and a power supply for a new case that was just released. And you guys will see that in the coming weeks. It's gonna look amazing, so we are super excited about it. All right, I know exactly what this box is. This is for a huge project coming up where we're gonna be teaming up with my good mate, Ed from TechSource to build one of his subscribers a custom PC. Now it's coming up very soon. And I'm not gonna tell you any more details, but AlphaCool were kind enough to jump on board and provide all of the water cooling gear and the fans. We've got some really cool stuff in here. There's, there's, just, there's so much AlphaCool gear in here, everywhere. Fittings, we've got blocks. Look at, look at these radiators. Look at this monster radiator, guys. A 480 millimeter radiator, 80 millimeters thick. This is gonna be one awesome build, guys. So stay tuned and keep an eye out. What do we have here? It looks like a, a monitor from Asus. I don't think we should be getting any monitors. So I just think they've repurposed this box for maybe some computer parts or something like that. Let's have a look inside. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, that is awesome. Let's get this unboxed and show you guys what we have here. We have the CPU cooler for the purple and green PC. That'll be on display at PAX Australia, guys. Don't miss it. This is sick packaging. I love this packaging. That is a power supply also going in that same system that we we're just talking about. We also have another 360 millimeter all-in-one cooler for the streamer PC. And last but not least, we also have the ROG Thor 1000 watt power supply. I'm super excited about these systems coming up, guys. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Here it is, guys. This is the very last box of today's unboxing. This is from a company called VRLA Tech. Let's see what's inside. Feels quite heavy, so I'm expecting something good. Okay, looks like we have some accessories in the top. Lots of foam, they've packed this really well. <laughs> Is this a full computer? That is awesome. We've never had a company send a full computer before. This is awesome. So VRLA Tech 
must be a pre-build company. PC, hang on, what does that say? Let's get this off first. Okay, so it's a deep cool case. Case looks really nice actually. The front doesn't really have any airflow, but it looks like there is plenty of thickness in the front and on both the front here, you can see it's got ventilation and the back, so it can still bring air in. PC setup instructions. Before unboxing, watch our setup guide using the QR code or visit youtube.com forward slash VRLA tech. There you go, guys. If you wanna watch the instructions, visit their YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to them as well. In fact, this is not meant to be a giveaway PC, but if you guys join the Discord and you guys can convince me to add it into our giveaway prize pool, I'll think about doing that for you. All right, guys, they want me to watch this video, so I'll do what they want first and then we'll unbox it. But it looks like it was packed really nicely with that expandable packaging foam stuff, whatever you call it. We'll open it up and see if it arrives safely. I'll be right back. So the video instructions, they basically told me how to get this PC up and running. So let's go ahead and remove the glass and we'll take out the foam on the inside and we'll see if it's looking good. We'll make sure that there's no loose cables or anything like that. And then we'll power it up and see how it really looks. Okay guys, here we go. This is first boot. Oh, look at the RGB, that looks sick. That looks absolutely amazing. Nice and quiet as well, that is awesome. Hang on, let me check out the inside a bit more. I just need to bring it around. It looks really clean, really nice cable management as well. All the cables are zip tied. Guys, I'm actually really impressed with this. A nice clean build that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So I went onto the website to check out what the specs of this PC are. This is the Apollo PC and it's actually just recently dropped in price. It is now $1,199. It features an EVGA RTX 3060 GPU, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a reliable EVGA 600 watt power supply, unlike those real cheap power supplies that a lot of companies use. It's got a 120 gigabyte NVMe drive and a one terabyte hard drive. Now that is all for $1,199. You also get one year's build warranty for this machine. I'm actually very interested to see how that compares against competitors like NZXT. So the most comparable PC I found on NZXT's website is this streaming PC for $1,399. It contains the same Ryzen 5 5600X processor, same RTX 3060 GPU, same amount and speed of RAM, and we have slightly more storage. However, NZXT offer a one terabyte NVMe instead of a hard drive. Now for the extra $200 we have saved, we can upgrade our NVMe drive to one terabyte and our graphics card to a 3060 Ti and be identical to the NZXT pricing with a much better PC. I even created a quick PC part picker list to see how their pricing compares to the market value. I tried to use all of the same parts, but I did have to supplement a couple here and there. But for the most part, it is extremely similar and will perform exactly the same. And according to the PC part picker list, you can actually see how well they have priced their PC, considering they're doing all of the labor for you. VRLA Tech have plenty more systems to offer from entry level all the way up to high end. They accept all payment options and PCs leave their Los Angeles warehouse in two to three business days. I'll drop a link to their website below if you wanna do your own price comparisons or potentially buy a PC from them. So there we have it guys, a bunch of exciting projects coming up soon. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Let us know in the comments below if you wanna see more videos like this. Once again, I'll leave all of the links in the video description if you wanna check out anything that you liked in this video and consider supporting us on Patreon. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.